Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it is Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at some of the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators here on YouTube. And I'm actually on the road, I'm traveling right now. My grandfather recently passed away and uh, we're on the road for his memorial service. So if you wanna learn more about that, there's a link uh, below to our family's vlogging channel about that. Actually, like I realized that even though he never owned a computer and never really understood how the internet <laughs> works, like his story has really influenced like a lot of what I'm even doing here at Video Creators as, as far as building a business and things. So uh, anyway, more about that down there. But I wanna update you guys about a couple important things. So one link that you'll find in the description of this video goes to an article of Real SEO where they talked about how to use copyrighted, I'm using my phone for notes right here since <laughs> how to you know, use copyright music in your videos is it legal or not and the short answer is no it's not legal ever to use videos that you don't have permission to use in your content now you can go ahead and get permission from some of those people and or even if it's like a royalty free license you can go uh, you know acquire royalty free um, license for those types of tracks to use in your videos but people are like oh how do I get away with it or how do I do it? it's like a common question I get that's what I'm telling you guys about this article it goes into far more detail about all this stuff so link to this article is down in the description below if you want to read more of the details but the short answer is is never okay use anyone else's content without their written permission uh, otherwise you can possibly get in trouble for it uh, on YouTube so you guys will never want someone to do that with your content don't do it for other people's content another update that was announced on YouTube last week is that the YouTube creator credits now are available to channels with 5,000 subscribers it used to be limited to only to those with 10,000 since Hence this little image that they have right here. But now 5,000 subscribers, you can tag other creators who maybe you collaborated with or maybe they contributed to your video in some way and you wanna give them proper credit. And then when you, you can do that now and then in the bottom of the footer of the description text on YouTube, it'll have a link to their channel. A little hover card appears and everything and it makes it easy for people to give credit to where, pe to where credit is due. So if that's you, definitely uh, you can start using those credits so you have 5,000 subscribers or more. And then the final update they made is actually one I talked about last week but the update actually didn't hit iTunes until recently and that is the ability to moderate comments in the YouTube Creator Studio app which you know you can now find you can view all those comments that are flagged as spam uh, the ones that are held in queue for moderation uh, you can go ahead and approve those or, or delete those or flag them and all that type of stuff as you're moderating all your comments on your phone now so link to all those stories and that app are in the description below this video so go check it out another thing though guys another link you'll find down there I want to tell you guys about is our sponsor. I know a lot of you guys have been like, damn, we get the fame bit thing. Uh, but there's always new people joining us here at Video Creators every week. And so for those of you guys who have a thousand subscribers or more and you want to start making like landing brand deals for your YouTube channel and making money from companies who want to pay you to talk about their products and services in their videos, you'll find a link down there where you can just browse a marketplace of all those types of brand deals and start landing those. So hope all that is helpful for you guys. I'd love to hear from you guys think about copyrighted music in the, in the, in the comments below. Do you use it and do you not? And if you do, do you feel like it's worth using someone else's stuff without permission, even though you can sometimes get away with it on YouTube that doesn't make it legal so do you feel okay with that or not I'd love to hear what you guys think and I am getting freezing cold out here because uh, the whole Northeast is getting hit right now and I gotta drive through it tomorrow which is gonna be crazy so anyway <laughs> we're doing your comments or uh, reading your comments uh, if this is your first time here I'd love to have you subscribe and we do stuff like this just to help you guys out with creators I really believe that a lot of you as creators here on YouTube have messages that need to spread the world needs to hear and I want to do everything I can to help you guys spread your messages so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can simply find you and hear your message and hopefully even have their lives be changed as, as a result of that so we do YouTube tips we do YouTube news YouTube Q&A hangouts lots of cool stuff here so subscribe and i will see you guys again tomorrow bye